welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to embed a gado game engine or a gado game uh, like a 3d game or a 2d game inside an android application like a native android application so if you don't know what is gado is it is a game engine used to uh, create 2d 3d games for every platform but suppose uh, there might be a case that uh, you have an android app and you want to embed some small game inside your android app so for that use case uh, this might be very helpful uh, firstly i want to clarify that i am not an expert in godo but uh, uh, what this tutorial will help you is that uh, it will help you to embed any kind of an godo game like a 2d game or a 3d game inside your native android application so uh, this is the uh, documentation for it uh, and uh, yeah let's get started uh, i won't bore you with all the documentation but uh, if you are curious you can refer the documentation like i will be following all the steps from the documentation itself so nothing new so first uh, open android studio i am using android studio hedgehog uh, which is uh, the latest at the time of this recording and also i am using gado 4.2 so i think this will be applicable to future versions of gado or uh, android uh, studio as well so i or future versions of android so i don't think uh, there will be any issues as such so i will just create click on new project for now i will create an empty views activity but i am planning to make a tutorial f uh, in the future for compose as well uh, so i will just click on that i have created my android application successfully now uh, i have created a cheat sheet as so, uh, cheat sheet just for me so that i can uh, you know quickly get this and uh, quickly get this up and running but if you want you can uh, follow the godot documentation as well which i have shown you so first what you will have to do create android project then you have to add these two lines because uh, we uh, the like the godo game uh, might uh, crash if you try to change your orientation that's why you will have to go to your uh, android application and inside your activity like whatever activity uh, you are embedding this game in uh, you make sure you add this screen orientation as well as this config changes next you have to add this implementation so at the time of this recording uh, godo 4.2 uh, just came out so if you are watching this in future uh, do check on maven central like what is the uh, latest version of this uh, library but currently it is 4.2.0 stable okay next uh, there is one more thing you which you have to add so the copy this so if you check in the documentation like uh, there are some hidden folders uh, inside the gado game uh, so to avoid uh, losing that we have to add this but in the documentation if you check uh, they specify you have to add uh, this uh, app aapt options but aapt options or apt options are deprecated and it's recommended to use android resources rest everything else remains the same the syntax is little different like i had to add this equal to in between uh, this uh, regex or whatever you call this ignore assets pattern because i am using uh, uh, like the gradle version kotlin version of gradle and they are using the groovy version okay once you add this you just have to click click on sync now so we have added this then we will have to go to our activity underscore main and we will just add a frame layout so we will be uh, displaying this gado game inside a frame layout so what i will do is i will go to activity underscore main i will remove this uh, i don't require this text view and here uh, you can uh, like uh, determine how much height or width you want your game to be like i am occupying the entire width and height i'll remove this okay and what issue it is showing this frame layout view is unnecessary no children okay let me check over here i'll just give this id okay now it has gone uh, the issue has gone so give this id this doesn't have to be the same but just give some id because we will be referencing this frame layout inside our kotlin code uh, next ignore this button thing for now I, I i'm going to make a one more tutorial in the future about how to uh, send some events from native android to your godo game uh, so for that uh, these buttons are but don't worry about it for now next we have to get uh, uh, like this we have to extend this godo host okay so i'll go to my main activity i will uh, extend godo host i will import the dependency and i will also implement this methods of get activity as well as get godo 
next uh, you will i'm just copy pasting this code uh, because these are from documentation itself i am not doing anything from my own so next i have we just have to initialize this godo fragment i have created a variable for it next ignore this ignore this as well and we require this bit of code because we require the godo fragment so inside uh, on create you can add something like this but make sure you change the id to whatever you have given for your frame layout here as well as over here okay next uh, ignore this so here uh, we want this override fun get activity so we have already overridden this but with the help of kotlin we can even uh, minimize the bit of code which we are writing and we also read the, need this so we can minimize this as well okay so now this is done uh, what else uh, you can ignore this for now ignore this ignore this create plugin as well next we have to create an create an assets folder okay so what you can do is right click new uh, go to folder assets folder click finish it will automatically create an assets folder over here now you have to uh, embed your entire gado game inside this assets folder so what i will do is i will just open gado game engine navigating to the assets folder of our android project okay and i am selecting that folder while creating the get the assets folder of our android project i have created our gado game next what you will have to do is you just have to create your gado game like i will just create a simple game for now so i'll uh, reference another project uh, uh, because uh, i because i am not uh, that familiar with gado so what i will do i will just create a 3d scene and i will just save it for now okay save and next i will add some uh, environment add sun sun to this scene and add environment to this scene so you don't have to follow uh, me on this you just have to create your own gado game whatever you want to next i will what i'll do is i'll add a camera as well so i will add camera 3d okay and what i'll do is i'll move the camera a little back so that it can easy so what i'm trying to do is i'm just trying to uh, display a gltf model 3d gltf model which is the recommended format for displaying 3d models in gado so uh, i will just copy paste uh, some 3d models over here i have added some gltf models so i have just taken uh, created a folder called gltfs inside that i have created a folder called food kit and i have added some gltf model and next what i will do is i will some attach some script to this uh, so i will just create a script and next i will just uh, open my project okay I'll, i'm not sure why this key. so i'm just copy pasting this code from one of my other project okay so i don't need this now uh, i'll just control a control v and i also don't need this okay so this this is how i have created my game uh wait i'll just remove the unnecessary code so here our gltf model name is apple i'll replace that i don't need this i don't need this as well okay and here what i could do is i can just replace this entire thing by wait this okay and i don't have to do something like this so here you can see that i have just loaded a gltf model over here now first you make sure uh, that it is uh, running from your uh, gado uh, game engine itself so you can just click on this play button select the, i only have one uh, uh, you know folder sorry one scene so here you can see i'm just rotating that uh, apple gltf model or glb model and uh, i have taken this model from uh, kenny nl so if you want you can uh, or take any 3d model which uh, gltf model which uh, whichever you want to because this is your game you can do whatever you want next what you will have to do so we'll go to the documentation again so i have added this okay i have added this i have added this i have added the following code okay next you will have to go to your, uh, your uh, gado 3d click on project at the top project settings and here uh, what it is it go to window and i am uh, now you have to decide for yourself like what should be the width and height because you are rendering it on a mobile phone right so i am giving it some width of 400 and a height of 800 
ओके एंड लेट्स मेक इट आई डोंट नो वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड आई थिंक ओके एंड मेक श्योर यू यूज दी ओरिएंटेशन वॉट एवर यूर हाव एवर यू लाइक सो आई एम जस्ट कीपिंग इट एज पोर्ट्रेट ओके एंड लेट्स इफ आई प्ले इट अगेन ओके इट लुक्स ओके टू मी एंड ओके दैट्स इट नाव वी विल जस्ट रन दिस प्रोजेक्ट फ्रॉम अवर फ्रॉम एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो so as you can see i have run my android project uh, inside my real device and you can see that uh, the uh, gltf model and it is rotating uh, the output might be slightly little laggy because i am connected via wifi and not via usb but uh, as you can see uh, i am able to embed a gado game engine or a gado game not engine but a gado game inside a native android application uh, so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching bye